What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we kind of have a different deck profile today. I just kind of feel like making this, and it is my Gem Knights. Yes, we finally did another update on them. Uh, to me, Gem Knights are still not complete. Uh, we got to wait till basically Hidden Arsenal 7 until Gem Knights actually are at their full strength, you know, so we're still missing a few cards, uh, and even part two of the Dual Trumbull is not out yet, which is, you know, gives us Master Die and a few cards too, but this is a version of the deck that you can actually build right now in the TCG, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with it. First we have uh, three Gem Knight Garnet, awesome card, gives you a normal extra target and stuff, and uh, it's basically the main Gem Knight I use other than Obsidian, and it's just a really amazing card. We also have three uh, Gem Knight Tourmaline, I think, I think that's how it's pronounced. Another really awesome card, it comes handy a lot in a lot of situations, and yeah, I mean, still kind of, you know, basically the same way on that. Uh, Gem Knight Amber, it comes in handy, it's more like a tech card in some ways, I mean, it's not what I use the most, but it does come in handy, that's why I run one. Uh, three, Gem Knight Obsidian, the, probably one of the best Gem Knight cards ever made. I mean, this card is so amazing, it makes Gem Knights as strong as they are. You can use this effect, and some people don't know this, but if you have Obsidian and, let's say, Garnet in your hand, and you use a... Uh, uh, Gem Knight Fusion, you can actually still switch some of that Garnet back, you know, it doesn't have to be in the grave before the Fusion, so you can still do that, and it's really awesome to be able to do that. You can swarm the field, keep going for those Fusions, it's crazy. Gem Knights are just probably one of the best decks out there about Fusions. Uh, second to Heroes, I guess. Let's see, we have three uh, Gem Armadillo. This card is way more amazing now, since Arconia is now out, at least in Dual Terminal. Not out in the Hidden Arsenal yet, so you can't really use it in tournaments, but uh, with Arconia, you can actually fuse using Gem Armadillo and actually Gem Turtle, which is coming in handy a lot, and it's really awesome. Speaking of Gem Turtle, we have two of them. So yeah, like I said, we use basically the same reasons. Helps you search out. This one goes for the Gem Knight Fusion. Because basically if you don't get your Gem Knight Fusion, you're screwed. I mean, it's just that simple with Gem Knights. So yeah, it's really good to have this card. Alright, now let's go with, uh, since these are now budget, I'm actually going to try them out. And they are two Rescue Rabbits. Uh, since they're a lot cheaper now, it's a lot easier to do so. And it's, you know, good card. I mean, all the way around. You can help you with your normal monsters, go for those fusions easy, XC summons and everything. And it's just really helpful. It really is a good card for it, but I always hated how expensive it was. Uh, I'm taking a uh, Neospatian Grand Mole. This is something I've seen a few Gemini players tech in, and I want to try it out. I mean, it's rock, so it can help you with few fusions, and of course, you know, it's just a good card, so yeah, I mean, why not? Uh, I'm also trying out Gores. Of course, I mean, Gores just really comes in handy, so yeah. Uh, not much explanation is really needed. Three Volcanic Shells. This one might need a little bit of explaining. Alright, using this effect where you can keep getting them, you know, easily by just paying some life points, I can keep going for a lot of my fusions, like, for example, uh, Gem Knight Citrine, because all it needs is a Pyro monster, Wolf Volcanic Shell's Pyro. So I can just keep going for that, and I can pretty much swarm the field with Citrine. And, you know, if everything goes right, which most time, I mean, that's so easy to do, which can even just wipe out your opponent. And it's an amazing card. It's so funny how uh, Volcanic Shell helps, and it actually thins down the deck as well when you use its effect. So, really awesome card for Gem Knights. Uh, believe it or not, it's kind of odd. I'm trying out two uh, Tragodias. It's kind of the same reason Gores. You know, Tragodia really does help out a lot, though, with uh, its effects and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of taking them in, just seeing how it works. And also, since this card's a little cheaper now, too, I want to try it out because uh, my Gemini deck doesn't have much draw power. So, I'm trying out two Maxis. I don't know. They're cheap now. I don't feel bad for using them now that they're cheap. And, yeah, I mean, just about every deck out there now is a swarm. You know, it uses some kind of swarming mechanism. So, if I can get one of those... Maxis off and get like a lot of cards that I need from the deck, I can pretty much destroy just about any deck using this. <laughs> if you have the right cards in your hand, Gem Knights could just are really powerful. They really are. Really underappreciated uh, deck. Let's see, we also have three Gem Knight Fusions. We're going to the spell cards now. Uh, amazing card, probably one of the best uh, fusion related cards out there. You can keep recycling it. It's crazy. It's just an awesome card. I mean, it, it makes the deck. If we didn't have a card like Gem Knight Fusion, you couldn't use Gem Knights, really. Monster Reborn, again, we're kind of going to Staple Zone, so here we go. Dark Hole, two Mystical Space Typhoons, Heavy Storm, I mean, all that stuff really needs, you know, no explanation. I'm trying out two Forbidden Lands, I feel like I've been using these in everything, but they really do help out a lot, so yeah, I'm going to try them out, see how it goes. Pot of Avarice, now the Graveyard will fill up quickly. And uh, for Trap Cards, I'm trying out two Regeki Breaks, I've noticed a lot of Gem Knight players trying that out, because with Obsidian and stuff, where you can discard and stuff, so it really does help. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it helps you get rid of some of those problematic cards out there. 
And then, of course, uh, two solo mornings. I like having solo mornings, just in case. Gets rid of some of those key cards that your opponent might be using, whether it be, you know, gear gears, mermels, and stuff that always have those key cards that can ruin your day. And it's good to have solo mornings. All right, now for the extra deck. Extra deck, we have uh, three. Gym Knight Citrine. Citrine's like probably the best fusion out there of all of them. You can go for him so easy, swarm the field, it's an amazing card, and he can like, he can't be stopped by anything. He's kind of like a um, ancient gear monster in a way, because, you know, traps and stuff don't really stop him or anything, and it's really cool how he works. He doesn't have the best attack power, which is uh, 2200, but he makes up for it with an awesome effect and being able to be easily summoned. That's kind of the bad part about Gym Knights, too, is you'll notice their fusions don't really have the highest attack except for Master Die. But uh, they have great effects. I also have a Gym Knight Ruby. I take one of these in. It really comes in handy. It can turn around the game. Usually I can bring out three Citrines and then Ruby. And it's pretty much GG. I mean, I, you know, just scoop and they, you just won the game. It's just that easy. Uh, I'm also trying out one Prismar. I, I did have two before. I'm trying out one for now. I didn't really summon it as much. Most of the time it is all about Citrine and uh, Ruby. But it does come in handy a little bit more now. So yeah, it's... It's pretty cool. I'm trying out Topaz as well. Since we are using uh, Tourmaline, I guess this is how the other one was pronounced. Like I said, I could be just butchering its name. But uh, Topaz is a really amazing card. It has 1,000, uh, see, 1,800 attack, which is kind of weak. But getting to attack twice and stuff can really end the game. I mean, it's pretty amazing, actually. And now for two cards that I know if you're actually using Terma stuff, you can't use these cards because they're not technically mass-released. And that is... a uh, Two Gym Knight Zirconias. They're out in the dual terminal right now. It's an amazing card. It just requires a Gym Knight monster and a Rock type monster to summon into it. And it has a 2,900 attack. So it's like probably your main attack monster in the deck. You know, that's it's one of the Gym Knights too that actually has good attack power. No effect though. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it, you just want it for its attack anyway. And it allows you to use Rock monsters. So, you know, Grand Mole and, you know... Jim Turtle, Armadillo, all those cards actually now become really useful and not as dead in late game as they used to be. So Zarconi is awesome. I recommend two. Three kind of seems overkill because you, like heroes, uh, with Gym Knights, there's so much stuff you can run. The extra deck can get a little bit, you know, too tight on some things. Uh, I'm also trying out these. I'm really happy I got these. Two Lalawful Chains. This is another one similar to Zarconia's. Not out yet in Hidden Arsenal. You know, we don't have the next Hidden Arsenal yet. But they are out in the Dual Terminal. I still need Emerald. I don't have Emerald yet. But a Lawful Chain is so awesome. It helps you get the Gemini Fusion easy and everything. It, it's just an amazing card. Really works out great for the deck. A lot of people don't even talk about this card anymore, too. It kind of makes me sad. Uh, one number 11 Big Eye. So easy to bring out the level 7s. Uh, maybe go for two again. I don't know. Extra decks, I always kind of wonder what to do. It just takes a lot of testing to figure out. Uh, Big Eye, though, is easy to exceed something in this deck. So easy. And it can turn around the duel so easy. And that's the reason why its price went up. <laughs> One of the reasons, anyway. It can also be used in Mermails really easily, too. Uh, we also have, of course, Utopia. I mean, that's kind of your basic. Gym Knight Pearl. People forget he's a Gym Knight. I mean, it really is an amazing card. And I always, I feel like I always do this, but to my stroke. I might t I plan on taking out one of my trucks when I get an Emerald, but you know if anyone else there you know out there has a Digoso Emerald, please trade me it because I really want one. So yeah, anyway, that is the deck. Hope you guys enjoy. It's pretty basic. I, it's not too high dollar to make really. I mean, I know Big Eye went up in price, but really Gem Knights aren't too high to you know anymore. I mean, Rescue Rabbit's cheap now and everything. So if you really want to try them out, now's the time. I mean, they're a lot of fun. And uh, after the next Dual Terminal and, of course, Hidden Arsenal 7, they're going to be really cool. I and mean, they might actually be close to meta-worthy. I'm not going to say they're, you know, high up in the ranks on meta, but they're they're pretty powerful. I mean, a lot of people really underestimate them. So, yeah, please tell me what you guys think, of course. And they're a lot of fun to use, and I will have some duels to use in this new deck, of course, really soon. I know I keep promising the duels, but I've been just so busy. I will get it done, though. I promise. I really do promise. We're going to have lots of duels really soon, showing off a lot of different deck profiles I've been showing lately. So yeah, as always, please uh, tell me what you guys think, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, yeah, thanks for supporting me. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you've enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to check out the next and previous buttons that are down below so you can see some of the past and future videos that I've made, and also be sure to check out the two featured videos that are on both sides of me. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later, guys.